Want to see a fun stencil and stamp set? Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski with hair. Come here. It's like curling all over. It's so hard. It's so hard to look presentable. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I'm going to share a brand new stencil that I designed for Simon Says Stamp and a little 3x4 stamp set and coordinating dies designed to all work together. I love this card for birthday projects, so to see it, stick around. It's coming up next. Here's a look at the products I'm going to use today, and these are new from me. Now you can't really see this, but this is what this stencil set creates. You can create a multicolor happy birthday to you with the stencils in this set. And I also designed a little three by four set that is, and coordinating dies that are available separately that are part of a little add-on set to fill in and adorn or festoon your panel. So let's get started with some ink blending. The way this stencil is set up is so that you will never have, as you're going through with your colors, the same two colors in the same row butting up against each other. And so I spaced it out so that you could have four colors and then there are four stencils. And each stencil has this etching that lets you line up your cardstock every time of course, I'm gonna do it on the other side so that when you change stencils, you're gonna be perfectly lined up. Now, I have some colors here and I'm going with my happy colors because you know, I got some pinks, I got some oranges, I got some yellows, and I have some celery. I don't know, I just felt like saying I got. So let me grab my brushes and we'll tape this first stencil into place. All right, we're gonna start with the first stencil, but I wanna show you something, because I played with this a little before I started filming. This little piece right there is very delicate, and so I'm actually going to put a little bit of adhesive on here, and I'm going to use repositionable adhesive. The reason I'm gonna do it is just because I want that to not move, and so I take a little, where are you here? Yep, just a little repositionable and go like that. And that's gonna hold it in place, and it's not gonna hurt anything on my stencil once I get this position. So you're gonna flip it over, you're gonna line it up, and I'm gonna hold this up to the light because for me it just helps. You can't really see me do that on camera. Then I'm gonna hold it down. That little bit of adhesive should hold, and I'll tape the stencil into place. All right, great. Now I don't have to worry as much about that sliding and my ink going underneath it. So let's use carnation, put that aside like this. And I guess we'll just start the bottom. We're just gonna add our color. Now this too, you just wanna be a little gentle, right? Because that has a, a little swoop-de-doo in the middle, but it's just not as fussy as this one might be, so. There we go, holds it there very nicely. All right, that is layer one, like that. And now I have my first layer. Now, to clean off these stencils, one of the things that, I mean, you can obviously go wash them, but I'm gonna show you this because it's so easy. I use my rubbing alcohol. Let's get that tape out of the way. I like to save as much of the tape as I can. And, yeah, there we go. You're just gonna spritz it on. Did I spritz it on the wrong side? No, that's right. And then I just use a cloth to clean it off. And it actually does a really nice job. So don't be afraid of that, because it dries so fast. And then you can move on, let's say you wanna do a bunch of them, but don't forget, you gotta flip it over and do the other side too. And then don't worry about the little extra stick on there because you can pop this into the pocket for now, wherever you're gonna keep it, and you can use it again. Just like if you were using Pixie Spray. I've taped the next one into place, and again, I took a little repositionable adhesive and put on the back of both of those that hang down, and we're gonna move in with our orange color. 
This is cantaloupe. And just go gentle, but it should be fine if you use a little repositionable adhesive. Like that, just like that. Oh, so nice. Okay, pick up from there. Also, if any parts of your stencil, if the innard somehow stuck, my uh, O actually had a little on there, just pop it out. Be gentle, but pop it out. All right, get a little more up here. And that's layer two. My next stencil is in place and my next color is Sunbeam, which is, a, and I also, again, added a little bit of the repositionable adhesive to that little it's called the counter inside the P, just to hold that in place. Like that. The H's both have the little drop downs too, but they, they tend to hold their position very nicely. And let's get the last one here. Again, be careful with the Y. Just come down like that. Coming together. One more layer to go. Our last stencil is in place again. I did do a little tape. You know, one of the things too, and I'll show you this really quick, there, there we go. You can come in here and scrape away some of that extra adhesive that will, you know how the dot runner will stick out because it will affect a little of your stenciling, but I don't think that's a really big deal because, you know, this is meant to look like an actual stencil. So last color that we're using here is celery. We'll add our green. Oh, it's so pretty. And if you wanted to be really fancy, you could make sure that your letters all had like a blend, you know, where it was darker at the bottom, lighter at the top. That would be really cool. Sometimes I'm just not a fancy blender. So I just, you know, I just do what I do. <laughs> but I think it's going to be fun. Okay. Such a good green. This is just happy colors for me. I didn't need to tape this down either. That's just extra tape. Okay, now we're all blended and we have our panel ready to go. So let's pop this up and now you see a happy birthday to you. So cute, right? Now we're gonna stamp some coordinating balloons and a greeting. I'm gonna take my little wire snips here and cut apart all of my dies. Now you can break these back and or bend them back and forth, but what I try to do is snip as close as I can get to a lot of them, and then I will go back and I will clean up some of the little snips so that I don't have a lot of blood on my products. So <laughs> yeah, it happens. So let me go ahead and do that so I can get this set up because I'm going to show you a little, well, a little shortcut. Anytime there's a, like a stamp with a balloon, it's going to be easier if you just cut these out first, make your die cuts first, and then you can drop the stamp in. So let me run this through my machine really quick and I'll show you what I mean. Actually, I'm going to cut the bottom off of this though because I'm going to use that for a greeting. All right, I'll go cut those out. So what I'll do here is bring my balloons and if they pop out right we just we're just gonna you know we're just gonna pop them right. oh look at that look at the magnet lifts it right up <laughs> i love that but we're gonna line up our stamps in the opening spaces here of the die cuts so let's well let's pop them out because we don't need them don't need them right yet we're gonna pop them back in as soon as we're ready because this is the easiest way to line up something with a string and not pull your hair out right while you're while you're die cutting but here's the thing I want to look here and figure out my placement because I think what I want to do is I want to have one big balloon here actually do I yeah I want to do a little balloon maybe over here and a small balloon up here. So if I do these things, I need to plan my colors accordingly so I'm not doing the exact same color right on top. So that makes sense, right? So let's get this part off. I don't, well, the tape doesn't really matter, but sometimes I just hate it. I'm not embossing. So we'll just get that out of there. We're gonna go like this, okay? And we're gonna take our stamps and place them inside. That way, 
we have a much better chance, right, of making sure that they're going to be nicely lined up on the actual die cuts. And even if it's not perfect, it's fine, but this is going to give you, you know, probably a better a better option. Now, if you wanted to be really fancy and do your strings in a different color, you certainly can. I am not going to do that because, well, I just, I like the solid color. So I'm going to pick this up, take a look, and I think that's going to be fine. You Again, you can always tweak it. You can always, you know, practice this a few times, but let's prime our stamps with our fingers. There's always a coating on brand new stamps, and so most of the time in my videos, I'm showing brand new stamps, and that's why I have to spend the time to do this. I like to say, if you have the time, do the prime. I know that I want, let's see here, I want this balloon to be yellow. Okay. So I'm going to, maybe I'll just do that one first, kind of cover up the other ones. Then I don't have to think about it. In fact, what you're gonna wanna do, let's get a piece of scrap paper here. We'll just do that, that'll be fine. Again, place your friend in, nothing's moved. Let's do the yellow one first. Okay. And hold that down, hold that in place. Well, I'm gonna just give it a go. <laughs> oh my, Kathy, that's, uh, that's something, but here we go. And stamp. Let it transfer like that. And when you come up, oh, you have a balloon. I didn't even need to do that. I think we'll be fine. And it looks really nicely stamped like that. Oh, love it. Okay. Then clean it up. And also, if you wanted to make a bunch of cards and you get it lined up the first time and it's looking good, leave this in your Misty and do other. In fact, you know what? I'm not taking that up because I might do some other combos. Okay. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next color. So the next color is going to be, I want this one, I think, to be, do I also want that to be yellow? Eh, I think I'm going to go orange because then up here I can do, well, now I'm torn, green. Yep, this one's going to be orange. So we're coming in, placing it back down, okay, and I'm going to take a little guy here. And I am going to put some tape over this one or, or post-it notes. Gosh, I used to have a whole stack of them. Where are they? Let's mask that off like that. And this little guy here. And just remember, once you use them, you got to take them off. So let's ink up the celery. Was that the color I wanted? No. I literally just blanked on it. That's why you pay attention to these things. Orange. Here we go. All right. Orange, 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 orange. Take you up, put you down, and transfer. I guess I could bring in my stamp press here. Let's take a look. Well, that's pretty good. That one wasn't as good, so I don't know if I would use that one in the exact place again, but you know what? We are going to do that again. Does not have to be perfection, but there you go up and pop that down those came off and that's fine because I'm not going to use this positioning for that one because it actually is off I'm gonna have to redo that one because actually I don't like that <laughs> but you know I am your test dummy so you see what not to do all right let's see if the last one is golden get in there let's see if that one works only having to redo one is fine, but I do want you to know that not everything works all the time. That's that's part of the beauty of crafting. Oh, look at that. This whole thing came with it. That's okay. And that one looks off too. Oh, what did I get that? Well, you know what? We'll do those two again real quick and we'll get them lined up better. I'm actually going to try something totally different. I don't think these are going to be hard to cut it out at all. <laughs> so you can do what I did but we can also try it this way. Let's do that. Let's, let's ink up our orange friend, okay, or yellow, stamp you down. I've got them nicely separated so that I don't have to worry about, you know, 
things getting in the way. That actually looks really good. I don't even know if I need to do it again, but I'll do it just to have a little extra oh, in here like that. No, that didn't work either. How about you? There we go. Okay. Boom. Orange. And we're going to do green up top. Okay. This might work just fine. Oh, except that that's in the way. Just take it out. There we go. <laughs> it's a little aggressive. Okay. Okay. Put it, make sure we put it right back where it goes. Take our orange. Take our green. Like that. And make sure we're in the right position and stamp. All right. Let me get the dies into position and see if this is going to work. All right, I think this is faster. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. Let's run it through. Did I nail it? I just thought it would be harder, but you know what? These are so, oh, that looks fine. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. They're not hard to line up, so keep that in mind um, when you're using these balloons. Okay, got to do a greeting, then we build a card. My idea for this little addition set was you had little pieces that you could add here, a very, very happy birthday. I am going to use Let's Party, and I'm going to stamp this I think I'm going to emboss it in gold just for a little pop of shine on here. So let me let me grab my misty, put my balloons. I'm going to be I'm going to be gluing some things together for dimension. I mean, this video <laughs> it's not it's not a quick one, right? But it's going to be so fun. Let's get this out of the way. Let's take our little scrap of paper that I've handled way too much so far, and we'll take the little let's party, okay? And I'm just going to drop that right there. Pick it up out of the way reposition right prime it up a bit got my anti-static powder tool from Simon says stamp just gonna add some powder here to remove static or oil and I'll use my clear Simon embossing ink I'm gonna ink this up like that. I don't think I'm going to use my stamp press because I don't want to squish it too much I'm just gonna do a few layers of the embossing ink and I meant my my pressure tool here okay just go like that give it a second to transfer right and maybe one more all right my embossing pad is a little dry all right let's grab our powder and our clothespin to protect the mani Got my paper catch here, and I'm going to use Ultra Fine Antique Gold. Really love this powder. It's very warm gold. It's one of my favorites. Let that go and tap. All right, there is my shiny Let's Party greeting, and I'll use the coordinating die to cut that out. Before I start gluing all of my things together for dimension, I am going to trim this down because I want to have a panel where things, let's see here, things can sort of pop off the edge if need be. Although, you know what, maybe I don't want it quite that tight. Hold on. Let's bring it down a little bit, right? Because I want this panel to be popped up onto a note card. So just line it up top to bottom, side to side, and I'm gonna cut that out real quick. Then we're gonna start gluing things together. I'm just gonna do this little smattering just for a little extra shine, and I'm gonna use this Simon tool that has the little pickup sticky on it, which works really nicely for confetti sequins and boop, just two, just an three gatherings of two, which for me, you know what, I like that, I like that. Boop, 
so it's an odd number around the page, boop, but you're doing it with even numbers of sequins. Here we've got boop, a really nice example actually of, oh, come on now, boop, what a visual triangle is in design. And that is just something that creates a triangular connection on any given space. So the balloons have a triangular connection and so do the sequins. But then there's a lot of repetition happening as well. The colors are all repeated. Um, the style of building up the dimension is repeated. White space is repeated. And we have our gold here repeated with the gold. And that's the finished card project featuring this fun new stencil set and coordinating stamp set designed by me, Kathy Z. You can find links to all of the products I used in today's video in the YouTube description box. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you, so hit that subscribe button, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up as well. I'll see you back here with another card project soon.